Welcome everyone to Sansar Travels once again. We're at Eternity by Cerberus. We've been to a couple of uh, Cerberus's things beforehand, so this is a nice little uh, take here. It's been out. This one's been out for a while now. I think maybe like two years, but I'm just taking a look at it now, and we have a nice uh, animated horse here right at the front as we walk in. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat indeed. We got a little bit of a light flicker going on here, but it doesn't seem like it's affecting anything but that starting area here. Maybe the horse is providing the uh, energy on a treadmill for the rest of the place. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's basically a giant clockwork type of thing, and we can start seeing the complexities of it as we walk up to the main center area here. Looks like we have a planetarium right off the bat, and we have a couple of flags, banners, that type of thing. We also have what looks to be entire wall here and a structure chained up a, up above here a bit that we can take a look at here soon. In fact it kind of looks like a heart so maybe it's a heart chained up in the center of this place. But yeah we can take a look at the planetarium here. It looks like we have Saturn, maybe Jupiter, and a couple of other planets here. Probably like Mercury and Earth I'm assuming is the other two. I'm going to center bit here that's uh, moving about as well here. I do always love how the Sansar animations are always so fluid. Like Second Life's starting to get there a little bit of Animesh, but Sansar definitely they had uh, fluid animations in mind when they started on it. That's a nice little wall of uh, cog gears and everything else that's moving along here too. Obviously with the clockwork uh, idea that I was talking about that the description talked about. Basically it's a big exhibit on a massive clockwork type of thing. We'll go ahead and zoom up here a bit and uh, take a look at what's going on here. That almost looks like the thing that would move back and forth when we look at it from above actually but it's not exactly in the right spot. We can take a look at the planetarium from above here, though. That's pretty neat. And yeah, it appears to be a giant mechanical heart here. Though it's not beating, it does have the same cog works going on inside of it as the uh, wall does. And it's a neat little thing that's chained up to the walls, too. So it's actually uh, being held up instead of just floating there. Yeah, we'll go back back here and take a look at this uh, mechanical horse too. You can see it a little bit better as we're looking at it from above. Maybe it is some type some type of treadmill thing. I don't know. And then from the outside, it looks uh oh the walls almost look alien from the outside like this. Very curious looking look. And this looks like it might be an entrance to something, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Oh, no, I don't think I'm actually moving, so I guess it's not an entrance. Oh, I guess there was a hole there, though. Uh, we're going to fall for a bit. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It takes a while for you to respawn after falling off like that. Alrighty, so it looks like we've uh, taken a look at everything here. Definitely an interesting work, I like all the moving parts to it and everything. And I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you in the next one here.